Hi, I'm John Terzak again, and I'm going to answer the question for you today of how to make a roui, R-O-U-I-L-L-E, a French word, but roui is not necessarily a French original preparation. Ruiz date back quite a while, at least a century, before France got a hold of Rui and made versions of it to go with bouillabaisse, which is what it's really well known for. But really we're talking about a condiment here that can be used to be spread on bread or added to soups, mixed into a stew, whatever. Okay, the version I'm going to make today, and there are many versions that go from mayonnaise looking versions to the version we're going to make today, which has breadcrumbs, and I'm going to use roast red pepper, roasted garlic. Typically, they're a little spicy. That's the one common denominator among most of the ones that are made. So we're going to start off by taking one cup of breadcrumbs, put it in the food processor. We're going to take about... We're going to try, we're going to go with a cup of red peppers to start with here. I'm going to put one egg yolk in here. I'm going to put a heaping tablespoon of roasted garlic puree, which isn't very much for this. Roasted garlic puree is not like regular garlic. It kind of gets watered down a little bit, so to speak. And we're going to take some dried red hot chilies and put a few of those in there. And this is what's going to be the spice for this. And it might be enough of those right there. And we'll, we'll put a pinch of salt in here now just for the fun of it so it gets mixed in completely before we get into the final tasting of it. Now, can you put lemon juice in here? Can you put vinegar in here? Absolutely. We're going to start this out like this and we're going to add olive oil to it. Ready? Noise. Looks good. Let's get some oil in there. That looks good right now, texture-wise. I think that cup of peppers and cup of breadcrumbs might be the perfect mix. Let's taste this. It's definitely spicy. You can definitely taste the garlic. You can taste everything that's in there, the red pepper, the bread. This is good. It needs a pinch more salt. Put that in there. And let's just scrape the sides down here real quick. Put a little pinch more olive oil in there. Okay. Let's put it in our storage container. I happen to be making this for fish soup, and I'm going to be using this alongside the bouillabaisse. I'll throw a little bit of tradition on. So that's one version of whatever we is. More importantly for you to understand, not so much this version, you can research hundreds of versions of this particular condiment, as I call it. The important thing is, is that you got some idea how to make it, but it doesn't have to be made the way I make it. So that's my Rui. Enjoy it if you get a chance to.